right, this is the Silverado, and it's gonna be the next home that we tour. Again, it's called the Silverado. And um, I'm excited to see what it looks like. Again, this is the Silverado. So let's go tour this home. Okay. Let's close it up so we can see. All right, the Silverado. All right, so we just came in from this door. So you have a standard door here. Love the cutout because people can take their shoes off right there. Okay. And then you walk into the living room um, and it has a totally open feel. Like I can see the dining room and the living room here, but it has a ceiling fan in the living room. You have two windows there to let in your natural light. It's dark today, y'all. It's so dreary outside and raining. Um, so I hope I didn't pick the wrong day to show you this house, but I like it so far. Got a cozy living room. Your TV can go here on this wall. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love the living room. Totally open concept. Overlooks the kitchen and dining room. So this is your dining room. Love the lighting. You have a window in the dining room. This table fits six, so it's plenty of space in this area. Love the colors in here too. This whole wall is beautiful. It has um, the shiplap on this wall. And then your drywall is painted two different colors, which I really like. And I love these colors too. So from the dining room, that's your view into the living room. And then this is your kitchen. Love the color of the cabinets. You have the butcher block counter. Space for two bar stools. Love it. Here in the island, you have your electrical plugs for your devices on either side. Barn door here for a pantry. You got a deep pantry. Again, it's dark. Um, it's a dreary day, so there's not a lot of light. That that pantry just goes really deep, and then that shelving goes this way, which you can't see from here, but it's really nice. Nice size pantry. I love the barn door. You've got your double refrigerator. You've got shelving up there for decor. two-tone countertop so the darker counters cut, uh, go across the perimeter and then you have the butcher block island I love um, the shelving at the top because I like to decorate and I would have space for decor and I have cabinet space for the things I need I probably would prefer a home that had more cabinet space um this that's the only thing about this one which don't get me wrong my house this probably has as much counter space as my house and i don't think that i have enough so um 
what I like about these homes that I've been viewing on this lot is the amount of cabinet space. So I'm not putting this house down. I think it's really cute. And this would probably suffice for what my husband and I needed. I'm learning how to downsize. So this is for somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of stuff. Um, this counter space is nice. Um, the counter space is nice, yeah. Everybody doesn't have as much junk as I do. <laughs> I think about this in terms of myself, but I'm trying to learn how to think about these house tours in terms of how other people, what other people are looking for. So I realized that this house would be perfect for a lot of people and it would be perfect for my husband and I. I really like this. The colors, I like um, the openness um, of this home. That is what I love. I love the color of the cabinets. I love the two-tone counter um, counters, the, the black around the perimeter of the kitchen and then the butcher block. And this is a funky color butcher block. Like I like that. I really like that. I love this, that feature in the house. But like mine, it just doesn't have enough cabinet space. <laughs> This is the utility room. That is where the washer and dryer would go. You have your back door there. And you even have space over here for a deep freezer or storage or mud room or whatever you need it for. The door into the kitchen closes. So if you have a lot of laundry and stuff, you can close that off. It's open there, which I think is cool. You may need to air out the kitchen. You can open the back door and you don't have to worry about the fumes getting caught. I'm just thinking about me burning up stuff. Um, I like the window over the sink. Now this is a standard sink. This is the first, this home doesn't have the um, industrial sink that's a standard sink there but they have which I don't see a lot they have the separate sprayer normally the house either doesn't have the separate a sprayer or it has the sprayer and um, faucet built into one so that's cool to see my house didn't come with the sprayer but it it does have like I could purchase a faucet with a sprayer so I think that's what we're going to do. My husband wants to get a different faucet. So that's probably what we're going to do. All of these homes have this lighting. I love it, love it, love it. All right, this is the guest bedroom number one. And I will walk in as, as usual, per usual. Scan the room so you can see how big it is. This is a closet, looks like a walk-in closet yeah love it love it love it love it and guess bedroom number two this one seems to be a little smaller this will probably be my office guess bedroom number two and another walk-in closet love it love the clock the closet space and this is the guest bathroom you have your sink toilet and shower tub combo there this house reminds me of my house so much so much master bedroom over here huge master bedroom you got the two I love the windows Love the windows. Let's scan the room. Love it. It's a master bedroom closet. It's long. Again, this is the Hawthorne. 
And this is the master bathroom. You got two sinks, huge mirror, lots of cabinet space in here and shelving. Got your toilet next to the sinks. Huge tub. Can you see? Look how deep this tub is, you guys. I could totally see myself in this tub. Beautiful. Lin linen closet over there. And then you've got your shower here. Beautiful. And then your that's the utility room, wash and dryer. Beautiful. Love this tub, love it. Love the shower heads in all of these homes. Love the tile. Beautiful. Beautiful. So again, this is the master bathroom. Master bedroom. Got your living room here. Dining room and kitchen. Totally open. Totally open, you guys. All right, this is the Hawthorne. Thank you for watching. I had to come back on and correct myself. This is the Silverado. We've already seen the Hawthorne. So this is the Silverado Wayne Fryer. Home Center. Thanks for watching.